Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to go over more ways to stop artist self-sabotage or writer self-sabotage. It is finally fucking sunny outside. Um, it's a nice day. If I would have known it was a nice day, I'd be at the beach right now, but I'm here. So I figured I would show it to you guys because Jesus Christ, why not? So you guys want to see what it's like? Um, this is what it looks like out here. It's fucking gorgeous. It's just a nice fucking day. We've had so many horribly shitty days lately that I just figured, why the fuck not? You know, let's come out here and make a video. So what we're gonna go over today is, yes, we're gonna focus on things that you can't control. Because focusing on things you can't control is a horribly stupid fucking thing to do. But I feel like we all do it because focusing on the things we can't control makes us feel better because then we have something to blame that isn't ourselves when things do not go right. You know what I'm saying? So I had a really good conversation on a podcast the other day and the guy who was interviewing me was talking to me about how for years he has been submitting his work to agents and publishers, getting super pissed off that his work isn't getting out there, not understanding why they won't accept his stuff. And he was coming up with all these like reasons, all these crazy reasons why um, he was getting rejected all the time. A lot of times you're getting rejected because it was the wrong thing on the wrong day. And that just isn't the place for you at that moment, you know? I know that sounds weird, but there's a lot of agents and there's a lot of publishers who the people who actually make the decisions hardly ever see anything that comes in. And most of the stuff that gets read is stuff by like interns. If the intern thinks something's good, they'll push it along to the editor to look at because the editors don't have time to look at tons and tons of shit like you're basically all of us writers who have been doing this for years and years and years are basing our future on like some like 18 year old college kid and not that there's anything wrong with that but if i were to just go up to you and take you to any random first year literary program and just started pointing at 18 year olds and say, okay, which one of these people do you want to decide your future? You would probably fucking laugh at me. But for those of us who only submit to agents and publishers, that's exactly what you're fucking doing. When you don't get the results you want, you get really disheartened and pissed off and like there's no other way to do it. And you focus on that shit. Or you can just put your shit out however you want to do it on a website or on Amazon or make chat books or do whatever and sell your shit yourself and see what the market thinks of your work. Okay. Or you can just be like, Oh, the man doesn't want me. Like, I don't know what's wrong. Cause a lot of times you don't get letters back saying, this is why we don't like your work because of this, 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 and that you usually just never fucking hear from him again or just get like a form letter. Those don't help you like hone your craft or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So focusing on that is a little rough. Other things that you can't control would be, and this kind of goes back to a lot of other things, but if you're like, um, like back to comparing, like if you're comparing like your earnings to someone else's earnings, you can't make somebody else not sell books, okay? There's plenty of readers for all the writers who are out there. And there are more readers than writers out there. Okay? Everyone's got a place. You just have to do it. Leave some things in the comments below of things that you think are things that you worry about that you know you can't control, but you still worry about it anyway. Another thing would be, like, time. 
like you worry that there's not enough time in the day to do something. So instead of doing the thing and sitting down and writing, you're freaking out just like, oh, there just isn't enough time. I can't possibly get any writing done in this amount of time. Or you could just try to get as much done as you can. Like think of every excuse you make to keep you from reaching your dreams and achieving your goals and try to just think about it logically and say, is this a logical reason for me to put my future on hold? Is this something that is worth me not doing a goddamn thing about? And just see, because a lot of times if you look at it like that, you'd be like, oh, I'm being kind of fucking stupid right now. Another thing you can do too is think about like when you come up with an excuse as to why you can't do something, think about it if somebody were to come to you and give you that same excuse for why they're not doing shit, what would you say to them? Because we're our toughest critics, we're our hardest fucking people here, but if somebody were to come to you and go, you know what, I just don't have enough time to write, you would probably go, oh, well, why don't you wake up earlier or stay up later or like do it on the toilet or do it on your lunch break? You would have an answer for somebody else. But for some reason, when we have these problems ourselves, we cannot talk ourselves into fixing them. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that is just one of these things. So, let me know down below what are the things that you worry about that you cannot control. And um, if you have a way to fix it, leave that down below as well. Okay? Because, honestly, just not doing that would be a good way to fix it. But some of you are way more articulate and thoughtful than I am. So you come up with really good ways of doing shit. So let me know what those are. Okay. Thankful for the beautiful day here today. And I cannot wait to get to the beach and not freeze my ass off. So with all that said, everybody keep buying my books, join the anarchy crew rest of war all the time. And the Bukowski book club is going to be going up. One of them I put up today and the final one for that is going to go up tomorrow, probably, just because I'm so behind. And then we'll start, um, you get so alone at times, okay? So, with all that said, type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.